Continuing with BNL, here now is Zera Hernandez and what's in Vogue. Zera. Thanks, Butch. Hello, everyone, and I'm glad to be back here on Business and Leisure. And for Vogue feature this week, we have a young wife and mother who found another calling, quite apart from the course that she studied in college, to shine as a bright young star in the field of arts. Sunshine Plata is one of the fastest rising Filipino artists in our midst. But what she took up in college at the University of Santo Tomas was a complete departure from her chosen field. Actually, I've always wanted to be in the arts, like to have a career in the arts. But then I wasn't given that chance because I graduated as a psych major. So um, I found a way to get into painting right after I was teaching preschool. So I said, um, maybe um, that, that um, what if inside my head, what if I had, I had a career in painting um, was actualized. So I quit my job uh, as a preschool teacher. I quit graduate school in 2007 and I started painting again. And I would always want to have, to be known as an artist with a unique medium so I said, I, I'd always remember that trip to the Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum wherein I saw a 19th century signature written in coffee. And I said, if that guy signed his name in coffee, made it last 100 years, then maybe I can paint with coffee as well. Thus was born a whole new career direction for the young Sunshine. She sought something different from the regular arts media that everyone else used. Her first painting was done in 2007 when she painted the main building of USC as a student. In 2007, when she wanted to give vent to her own self-expression through the medium of coffee, she prepared her first one-woman show. She remembers her father as trying to dissuade her from pursuing an art career, but she asked for time to be given a chance, sleeping at the break of dawn every day for a whole year while she completed her collection of coffee paintings. Give me one year, please give me one year. Let's just try this out for one year. If the, uh, if my paintings get sold after this exhibit, well and good. If not, I'll just go back to preschool teaching or try out whatever career you want me to pursue after this. Just let me try for a year. And he, after that, he understood. She had 33 paintings for her first solo show and of that, 24 paintings were sold in one day. My dad too was walking on the clouds. He said, oh, okay, and he was all smiles the whole time, the whole night. And when I would, when I would just look at him and, you know, somehow get, get an idea of how, what he was thinking right there, and then he would give me a one big grin, and that would mean, you're okay, kids. Bringing home the nine remaining unsold paintings, she thought of calling Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum, believing that her paintings were unique and Luckily, um, Edward Mayer, the vice president for the archives of Ripley's Believe It or Not, wrote me back right away within 24 hours. And he said he's going to pick out Reina de la Luna and Fairy of Sorrows to be part of the Ripley's collection. So they bought two paintings from me. And yeah, after the Martha Stewart show, after having been featured in the Martha Stewart show, those two paintings are now at the Times Square Museum in New York. I've created a hype in coffee painting. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that I'd be the very first who invented coffee painting, like what most people would, would think. It's a misconception, but um, there are people who paint with coffee as well, but it's so hard to tell when they started and who started first. So I would say I, I was the one who created the hype here in the Philippines somehow because um, I was lucky to be um, featured in the Martha Stewart show. My works were featured there through the Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum. As far away as Sweden, students and teachers have taken up coffee painting after having read about it in a magazine and have incorporated it as a course in their art classes. The international news agency Reuters also followed her for three days to her home and her exhibit at the Robinsons and to Ermita where she conducted a workshop for children on coffee painting. 
before I'd used to dream vividly. So I'd, I'd see fairies right after when I wake up. I sketch them and make sure I put them on Canva so I don't forget. Lately, since I'm a full-time mom to my kids, um, I also daydream. Not just dream, but daydream. So. Her appreciation of coffee as a medium extends to the coffee industry itself. There was a time that I partnered with Cordillera Coffee and they had me exhibit my works there. So at, at that particular exhibit, um, a portion of the sales of the paintings went to the coffee farmers, the children of the coffee farmers per se. This is to somehow encourage them to continue planting coffee, um, continue the legacy of planting coffee because most of these children are somehow feeling ashamed that uh, this is such a lowly job. but. For me, I think um, it's very important. What they do is very important, very essential to us, to us, to me as a coffee artist, to the people who appreciate coffee, and to everybody. And being a farmer isn't something to be ashamed of. It's something to be proud of. At home, when not busy with her two growing children, she relaxes by painting using both brewed coffee and instant coffee. So. I'd say brood would be okay if you want texture, more texture for using. Oh, you can use brood for more texture. And you can also use instant. However, if um, you want more, you want to exhibit more of your, your swirly skills. I don't know, my art is more of the swirls. If you want the smooth looking, the smooth looking um, paper, smooth looking painting, I'd I'd prefer to use um, instant. Apparently, instant coffee offers a little more convenience since one does not need to mix it with hot water, unlike brewed coffee. Her paintings can range from 5,000 pesos for the smaller ones all the way up to 120,000 pesos for the bigger ones. And she can finish one as fast as two days if she's totally inspired. Like, yun yung painting ko na entitled Sir Betes Ligorio. It's a it's a yung ice cream cart because my lolo used to be a sorbetero. Sunshine realizes that the Philippines still needs a lot of education in the field of arts. Coffee as a medium is an entirely new concept and it took foreign entities like Ripley's, Reuters, and Martha Stewart to open new doors for her. But she has found her love in coffee as an art medium. After the in the future, I see myself putting up my own coffee shop slash gallery and somehow in the future I, I want to continue my my advocacy to make coffee uh, accessible to all um, regardless of religion, political beliefs, anybody and from anywhere can paint with coffee and can make it their means of self-expression and I believe that um, I will, I will have to continue also educating the young, the young ones who are into the field of the, who want to pursue a fee, uh, the art field, into more of educating them, into putting up their, their standards to a higher level. Because most of the time, I think self-expression is commonly associated with feelings, and I feel like we don't just paint with our feelings. I think we should, we, we should also paint with feelings combined with our intellect. So think of good ways to encourage more people to think higher, not just put, the, put everything on, uh, bank everything on their feelings because sometimes the feelings, they let us down and gives us a negative, uh, a negative impression of ourselves. So I think it would be better if the young are taught well how to use feelings and intellect together in creating a good kind of um, artwork, masterpiece. If people have mouths to paint, how much more ourselves who have hands, who are not put in that kind of a dilemma. All we need is that spark of creativity flowing in our veins to actualize our shared vision with a creator of pure beauty and pure honesty. So 
Um, since I'm going back to coffee painting after I've had my two cesareans, um, maybe you can um, message me via Sunshine Plata Filipina Coffee Painter on Facebook. You can like that page and you may also um, um, research on me, Sunshine Plata, via Google and message me if you want if you're going to order paintings because soon I'm coming up with an exhibit I just don't know when yet but this is my next collection coming up Miss Sunshine Plata has indeed made the country proud as an outstanding artist whose works are proudly displayed at the Ripley's Museum and the Times Square Museum of New York our hats off to this young artist wife and mother I'm Sarah Hernandez, and thank you so much for having me here. Until next time, bye. Sports Shoot BNL segment for the gun enthusiast is coming up after this short break.